Alright guys, they're playing some Malphite top lane in this patch. We're playing Malphite for Zilawi, and what we have is Arcane Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendent, Scorch, Biscuits, and then we're running Cosmic here with a D-Ring. Now this game, I'm going to show you how to 1v now with Malphite. It's going to be a very fun lane phase, because uh, typically you guys recognize Malphite to go Grass Page. Uh, this time, however, I want to showcase you guys the Arcane Comet version, because this one can 1v9 way harder in matchups like this. So we're going to go for the uh, the Q max, obviously, since we're going Arcing Comet to maximize the amount of damage as a tank. And we can also play very, very aggressive with the setup. Even at level 1. I'll show you. So, Ilawi matchup is uh, typically hated by a lot of people. Um, typically because people, in general, they don't know how to play against it. Um, very much all I need to know is Ilawi, you can just fight him level 1 easily. This is absolutely okay. Uh, Ilawi becomes more of a problem towards level 3 into level 6. Until then, you can just do whatever you want. Because you can outplay his Q very easily. Some people like to start W on Ilawi. Which is a lot less, uh, uh, a lot harder to outplay. Seems like this guy starting with Q. Nice. We're transitioning to level 3 before he does, so we have the advantage. Never play scared in this matchup, guys. Never do that. As Even as Malphite, a lot of people tend to play really scared. That's where you go wrong. You want to play aggressive. Let's walk out of that range. Sidestep. Hmm. Well played by Ilawi so far. This guy immediately took the push afterwards. Which is a smart approach. That's really well played. I guess we're gonna have to try and take that back. I'll play. And there you go. Now, I could have technically flashed, but as you can see, I didn't really have to do that. Nice. So, typically, when you play Grasp version of Malphite, you're not able to do the amount of damage that I've been able to do right now. Um, when you play with the setup, the one that I'm doing at the moment, your damage is way higher because you're able to use the Arcane Comet to get it with Q. And your Scorch also procs, being able to do another extra damage on top of it, too. Smart one. We have Sajuani on top side. Although I think we're not going to kill him, actually. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I very much doubt it. Sights the... Yeah, I guess we're not killing him. No. We're not catching him, unfortunately. I don't think the Sejuani can make much of a difference. Okay. No, because we got no choice, we gotta back off. Yes. Alright, first things that we're gonna do is we are going to build into Iceborne. Show you why. So typically with Malphite, you're always gonna go into Iceborne. Most of the time. You can also have the option going into Sunfire, which is also a really good alternative as a first item. But typically, Iceborne is what I would encourage you to do. As if you go for like a short trade, you pop in the W, you also have the Sheen proc. Really nice combo. Uh, would be nice if you can cancel. Yeah. Nice gank from Sejuani. Sidestep. Actually failed. Hmm. It's gonna die right here. There you go. Oh, very well then. Sidestep again. The only problem is that the wave is now bouncing into the direction of Ilawi, which is like really bad for me. This might be an issue actually. I previously lost the wave. Um, which got fixed by Sejuani, but then the uh, Grace comes in and saves the day. So typically when you're playing top lane, like this is like the type of stuff that you avoid. If you have the wave bouncing your opponent, you're going to lose a lot of XP. And typically it goes well for me, but right now it does not. That's not good. We are having two kills right now, but he will reach level 6 first before I do. 
we're not gonna have a good time. We'll see what happens. Uh, it doesn't matter if he reaches like a half a level more than me. It shouldn't instantly affect my lane. Can't use a ward just yet, it's like 10 seconds. I'll take the damage, sure. Serious? I'm getting ganged right now? <laughs> Is that it? GG. I'm level 5, he's level 6. Alright, we're starting behind. I'm gonna lose another wave right now. So, this is kind of unlucky because Graves was previously top lane, ganking my lane. Apparently, Graves has never left the laning phase. He apparently stayed the entire time to gank my lane. Alright. Now, is Sentry going top? He's got no R. I'm level 7. This <laughs> He's level 7, I'm level 5. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Still got a long road to go. Still level 5. There's so many people involved in this game that like... We have so little impact on the lane so far. Such a weird game. We'll lose that one. We need to shove this in as fast as possible. Before Eli comes back. The faster we can push it, um, the more likely we can make a nice little comeback in terms of XP. Want to cheese in between two towers with Sejuani, but that's not going to happen. I'll head back again. I think he's going to cancel it. I can't do it. This level difference is going to be a serious problem. There's no crunch reward here, right? So usually, like, when you make, like, an XP lead in, like, one way or another, you're just going to be, like, 10 times stronger than your opponent. This time, uh, it's the opposite. This guy's level 7. We have, like, kills advantage. Doesn't matter if he's got the one level lead. That's why. Typically, when you play Malphi, this is what you're trying to avoid. Again, all of the farm transfer to my mid laner and XP as well. This is unlucky. I'm sharing too much. Nice. Good trade. If I was level 7 there, well, he was level 7, I would have won the whole trade immediately. Like, even better. Hmm. Sidestep. Really good. Walk up here. Can't do my ultimate just yet. Now we can. There you go. We gotta shove this in. So now we gotta be vocal about what we're looking for, right? So we actually managed to get a catch through a jungle gank. The only thing that I need right now is to have the wave uh, basically push back under tower. This is something that you guys need to do a lot more, guys. It's a situation you get into a lot. Sometimes you need to shove the lane this is exactly what I mean. So look. Now I can buy this thing. I can go for this one too. We can also go for this one. And now we can get back. So sometimes when you get a gank, a lot of people have anxiety for pinging around your teammates, right? Um, if you're in a position where you don't have the wave clear needed to push it under tower, you just have to ask your teammates to do it for you. It makes a pretty serious difference, guys. Now, funny thing enough, I don't think that you guys have ever seen that bad farm for me before. Like, we're literally running 30 CS at 10 minutes. This is the worst I have ever had. I don't think I've ever been so unlucky with ganks and everything. This is not in my advantage. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Good sidestep. Again, we drop down the Q. Place down this one. So it apparently it's a ward. Alright. All we have to do is stay behind the wave so he can't actually hit the... Uh, hit the ability. Now we can actually start playing. 
Nice, actually being able to farm for once. Got hit by this thing. Hmm. Fantastic. I nearly died because my ultimate got cancelled by his ultimate. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hopefully not going to lose any of these. Alright. We pick up one of these. And we head back. Can stay around for more because the chance of being ganked right now, but literally anybody is just very likely. It's better we back off. Just chill around. And there you go. Now, one thing matters this game. There's two things that I really care about. Um, one thing is the boots, right? So typically when you play Malphite, you're running either Mercs or Steel Caps, depending on what you're up against. Now this game, having Steel Caps is super, super, super nice. Um, but I think I might end up going Lucidity Boots into Bremble, because Bremble um, reduces healing, and Lucidity Boots lowers down the cooldown on my ultimate, being able to make like 10 times more plays. And I think that's exactly what I need to snowball this game into their team comp. Uh, nice hitbox. Alright. Nice hitbox. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to tank it. That's alright with me. Nice. 10 million ganks this game as a return of the Graves gank. I like it. I appreciate it. Let's take the next one. I'm glad I got a teammate. Like, I'm I'm seriously glad I got a t uh, teammate as well this game after the Graves gank. Actually puts me back in the game. Um, because I'm able to play around it. There you go. Take some plates. Hopefully get like two before it expires. Kinda doubt it, but we can try. We can use the Sheen proc to get it. There you go. If you hit E, you can actually get the Sheen proc and you're going to get it. Bit unlucky. Let's try. He wanted me to get out of the circle. And I recognized it. And I decided to stay in it. As long as he doesn't hit the clone. He can hit ELE once. But it's kind of ineffective. So I stay inside the, the range. Welcome to the live of Ilawi. That's just kind of what it is, guys. Alright, sidestepping. I have no mana anymore. <laughs> this is the weirdest game I have ever played. There are so many people involved in this game in top lane. Like, it's actually the whole... The whole game is top lane. The whole enemy team is also top lane. <laughs> What is this, bro? This is such a weird game. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Unbelievable. Okay, we got Lucidity Boots right now. This is really nice. The difference between me right now as Malfi for Zilawi is that I'm like capable of 1v9ing the whole game right now with my ultimate. This is something that Ilawi is not able to do. Ilawi is good for splitting and to a certain extent, uh, but Malfi, we outscale this guy pretty hard in terms of champions, right? I get to play out every single team fight with one press of a button where Ilawi needs to like split push and spawn everything correctly to become useful. So this is where things are going to make a big difference between me and Ilawi right now. Fortunately, that one didn't go through. I don't care if I tank it, it's fine. 
See? He literally hits heal me. What do I do? I walk into his face and I tank the full ultimate. And I still have more than half my HP. This is the kind of difference it makes. So normally you wouldn't be able to do that like most of the time. We're going to run mid, uh, mid lane right now and hit my R button. Hopefully get a really nice play on. I'm on my way. I think the Sage Giovanni is capable of turning it to be honest. Uh, hold on. Got him. <laughs> Too bad. I my follow up basically uh, didn't make it. Seems like they are still trying to turn. Said Giovanni overextended far too much to make that play happen. And uh, let's go back again. Now this play was excellent. Despite um, despite only getting one, uh, Ilawi is pushing top lane. There's no objective around the map, and we're basically we didn't lose any farm for this because we were able to to move to mid lane and Ilawi takes care of the wave, and I still don't lose the thing because he managed to shove it super hard. Alright, so let's grab all of these. There you go. Now you're going to see that the entire game is about to change. Because now every single time I push top lane, I can move mid lane, make a play, and win. This game is going to end very quick right now. So despite the terrible, um, the terrible start of the match with everything happening, things, things are going to be really good right now. We tank it, no problem. There you go, got it. I'm just gonna tank it, man. See? I take zero damage. Got him too. And back top lane. See? Welcome to the life of Malfi, bro. We take no damage from these people. This is like the luxury of Malphite. And we can press R again in 35 seconds. 35 seconds, guys. I can do this all over again. And that's like the beauty when you play Malphite with Lucidity Boots. When you play Steel Caps, you don't, you can't do this. Or Mercs or whatever. The ultimate's going to be a lot higher cooldown. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 15 seconds is all I need for, for my ultimate. And we're about to make the second play happen. See? Got another one. He needs to walk my direction if he wants to live. Oh, he's got R available. Serious? I focus him the entire time and he ults on the last second. Too bad, I guess. That's very upsetting. <laughs> All right. There's not much you can do about it. Uh, I guess they'll probably get Baron right now because AD carry is ball lane farming and chilling. I haven't seen, um, uh, sounds a bit weird. I haven't seen Azrael that much in this game yet. He hasn't been really... He hasn't really been existing. Alright, let's go. The uh, next item we're gonna buy will definitely be Thormil. Because Thormil counts Lucian, Graves, Ilawi, and Thresh. It counters everybody. And um, Azir is a problem for later. I don't think that we're gonna have any issues against Azir for a long time. Uh, Dragon spawns right now. Let's really push it. I'm still not happy with the farm this game. It could have been such a super clean game, but super unlucky at the start of the match. Yes. Definitely impacts the rest of the game. 
Seems like Azir's gonna try stealing it. We'll never make that happen. Not the best ultimate, because he can still run off. Next. Got him two. Hmm. This one's going to be very tricky. Seems like there's a ward involved. Hmm. He didn't fall for it, unfortunately. That was a really good attempt for that, actually. That was really nice. Wouldn't be cool if it worked. Okay. So we took care of Graves, the other guy too. We basically 1v3 that one so that my teammates could win harder. Uh, let's go for Giant's Belt. Okay. And let's go top lane. Drake spawns in four men. We can kind of do whatever we want right now. Typically, the best thing we can do is to go bar lane. Because uh, Baron is available. But the problem with going bar lane... So that it's completely shoved in. There's basically no point in going there. We can uh, we can adapt after they push. Let's make another play. Azir is in bot lane. Again, Ezreal is not really paying attention because we're about to make a play right now and he's just not ready for it. He literally never is. Ezreal is going to split push bot lane. Alright. AD carries split pushing is just really bad, but yeah. I hope that the AD carry is gonna wake up and stop split pushing for once. AD carries are not supposed to split push. AD carry split pushing is really bad. This is a fight that we should take actually. And there you go. Now this fight was clean. Really clean. And there's only one reason behind it. So, um... Basically, Illawi was top lane. And if you're 5 against 4, and you go for the all-in, you win. Right? You should always pay attention to where people are. If you are 5 man mid lane and you see Ilawi top lane, you're going for the fight. Same thing have same thing applies if you see anyone else on the side lanes and they, they're not running teleport or something like that. We have a direct engage, so if they're separated, we can just all in and win. One of the easiest ways to win a team fight. You just outnumber these people. It's the best thing you can do. All right, we're going to be building into specifically Frozen Heart right now. And Frozen Heart is a super solid item versus attack speed based champions. And well, Lucian is just the perfect example of this. Nothing is more perfect than Lucian, right? And then they also have all the other champions as well. Frozen Heart's going to make me win the rest of the game. I will never die again. Uh, next one. Again, my ultimate is up, so the only thing we're doing is we're pushing top lane, and then we instantly rotate mid lane afterwards. Into the jungle. Seems like we can't find anything. Ilawi is going to be farming top lane. I'll, I'll probably tank it. I will not die anyways. See? No damage. Oh, this guy's about to die. And uh, GG. Nice. And well, there you go. Interesting game. But yeah, this is Malphite Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the video.
and I'll see you next time. Peace.